Hello everyone. Good day to all. I am Dr. Dibya Jivan Pati, Associate Professor, School of Architecture from Gita University, India. And my co-author is Jyoti Mishra, Principal Architect from Studio Transform from India. And we are talking about the topic, Strategizing Solid Waste Management System for Residential and Commercial Areas in India. And we have taken the case study on Katak cities. So, and so we are going to discuss about the research in the based on the structure of presentation. So starting with the introduction, uh, I would like to talk about the current scenario uh, in Indian cities. And this is the very common uh, in most of the Indian cities. And so we can understand that in the most of the developing cities also, this is very prevalent. And uh, this particular research can also be applicable in those cities also. And this particular slides talk about like we have how there is a lot of unawareness uh, un among the public and uh, how the uh, waste is being generated uh, in due course of time. And there is some prediction. And in 2014, there was a uh, launch of new scheme called Swatch Bharat Mission, according to which we uh, uh, there is an encouragement to do more research on uh, about the efficient solid waste management services. So this is the, my aims and objectives. My aim is to prepare a strategy for an efficient and sustainable municipal solid waste management system for residential and commercial areas under Katak Municipality, Odisha, India. And so we can uh, understand that uh, I have some limitation. I'm not considering hospital waste, biomedical waste, hazardous waste, etc. And this is the this uh, list of the objectives which helped me to reach out to my aim. And this study idea may be relevant in comparable cities where appropriate and solid waste management practices are not followed. This is the methodology. I have created this framework which uh, helped me to carry out my research. My study area is Katak City under Katak Municipal Corporation, which has 59 wards. And this study is divided into four stages, primary, secondary data collection, analysis, result and discussion and i have also done uh, most of the uh, analysis based on the prediction and estimation to till 2030 and my this uniqueness of this particular research is that i have considered uh, a technique a strategies where how the fund can be uh, collected through willingness to separate recycle and willingness to pay for this particular cities and later on, I have uh, uh, done the estimation of how much waste can be uh, disposed according to the landfilling, composting, and recycling. And later on, next, I have uh, done co some cost benefit analysis which help in revenue generation. This slide talk about the data collection, about the study area, and what are the visual surveys based on my uh, observations. And I have taken only five words, uh, consider five words out of 59 words in Katak cities. And this uh, five words helped me to find out uh, is, uh, individual words had a different types of uh, typologies of buildings, typologies of behavior, and also what a type of uh, waste composition and how much waste is generated. And this was cal calculated for city level also. So now coming to the waste generation, the population estimation is very important. And based on the population, the residential waste was uh, generation was calculated for 2021. And I have done in two methods, that is percentage composition of waste content at city level based on nature of building units and based on income group. And out of these, though the target groups are the same, but as per my uh, research and understanding, I have considered uh, the waste generation based on income groups to be more justifiable. Now, coming to the next, I have, uh, after collecting the uh, data, I have estimated the waste generation and projected to 2030 as how much waste will be generated. Same uh, strategies was used for calculation for commercial waste generation also. Now, coming to the other waste generation, uh, where other waste are include construction and demolition waste, hospital waste, waste uh, shooting waste, and hotel and market waste and others that is constituting to around 60% of total waste. So rest of the 40% are included in residential and commercial waste. 
Now already I have spoken that the other wastes are not in my scope of research. So according to my calculation, I uh, I estimated that approximately 557.5 metric ton per day of waste will be generated in 2013. Now coming to the secondary data collection, I have had an opportunity to discuss with the uh, stakeholders, government officials, etc., to find out how many staffs are being used, how how many trucks are being used, how many wheelbarrows are being used, and where it is being dumped for the final disposal. And also, there is a very important uh, uh, situation in uh, this particular waste management services is that there is no separate tax or fund collected for this particular services. Unlike there's other amenities like a water uh, uh, fund, water tax, electricity tax, etc., and other infra infrastructural taxes. But for solid waste management, there is no such tax. So, in order to have a proper fund, then only there will be a proper uh, efficient collection system and proper strategy for solid waste management services. Now, coming to the uh, result analysis strategies. So, my strategy is that I have did, uh, prepared a questionnaire and through household survey, I found out that there are people who are actually willing to uh, take part in public private partnership and be a part of the uh, 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 a part of the public that they are willing to uh, allow and be part of the activities for separation, segregation, and recycling. And for that, they can also pay for it. So I found out that 71% are, uh, of people are uh, willing to have a uh, segregation services, and 72% are willing, uh, are uh, ready and accept that there should be recycling services. So based on that amount, that uh, the amount of waste that will uh, can be collected for different disposal methods like landfill, composting, and recyclable waste was found out. Now, apart from that, the government also needs funds. So if the people are uh, would like to uh, be part of that activities, they need to pay some amount, amount of money. So I found out that the number of people who are, are quite good who wish to uh, and are willing to pay for that. So certain amounts have been calculated and based on that, for different uh, solid waste services could also be done. And accordingly, how much uh, uh, fund could be collected. And based on that uh, amount of services, uh, amount of uh, money that can, or budget that can be used is for labor uh, requirement, how many labors can be uh, uh, taken for the employment, how many wheels, barrows, and cart can be taken for the collection. And how much area is required for the different waste disposal like landfill area, uh, compost plant, and how much waste could be collected for the recycling uh, also. Now, based on that, how much money could be uh, collected, uh, like as we say, revenue gener generated, revenue can be generated through uh, municipality, uh, through uh, uh, street uh, cleaning and for community beans and for order free areas and for transfer of waste and for land filling. And for composting also from out of composting, how much revenue can be generated? Out of recycling also, how much uh, revenue can be generated? So this is the cost benefit analysis for different solid waste management services. So and the conclusion, I would like to conclude that it, it, it is possible to have a 100% collection system and efficiently. And also there should be a campaign from door to door for the people to understand, to be aware of the health benefits and for the better air quality and also reduce reduce greenhouse gas emission. And this research methodology could be adopted for other Indian cities to plan for municipal solid waste management services effectively. So these references also help me out to carry out my researches. Thank you all. Thanks.